Um, hi, hi Henry. Hi darling. Um, I just wanted to make you this video. They, uh, they told me that I could send you a message and um, that you'd get to see it on one of the iPads during your next allotted screen time. Your your mom actually texted me today to let me know that she sent one too. Um, so hopefully you'll get to see hers as well and not have to wait until the next weekend. I mean, hopefully you'll get to see both of them and you won't have to pick one or the other. But if you pick your mom, I uh, totally understand. Um, well, I just moved into the new house that I bought. Um, I have no furniture, as you can see, just my mattress and Sadie's bed. She's doing great, by the way. Um, I can tell that she misses you because she's sniffing for you everywhere. I'll send you a video, or you can just watch the one that I posted on Instagram. Are you allowed on Instagram? I don't know. I'll send it to you. Um, I mean, uh, it's business as usual, you know, awards season, I'm supposed to virtually present best original musical or comedy score in like two hours, hence the whole getup. That's the other thing I have here, my red carpet looks, because that's the only thing I had in storage. Um, check it out. Hmm? I still love this dress. You loved this dress. Well, now I kind of wonder what you meant when you said you liked it. Like, like maybe you were just saying it because you were supposed to say it. Um, like you were just pretending for my sake. I said that to my sister, maybe he was pretending. And she was like, well, he's an actor. That's his job to pretend. And I was like, no, Mariah. Acting is not pretending, acting is something else. Totally uncategorizable. I mean, we don't just act because we're hot and good at lying. And she said, you literally just described Henry. He's super hot and good at lying. And she kind of one up me there, you know? Cause I'm your lady And you are my man mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Anyway <clears throat> I'm a little awkward right now, sorry It's like I'm usually always on when I'm with you, you know? Um, like that part in Pulp Fiction where Uma Thurman says, um, you know you found somebody really special when you can both just shut the fuck up and share a comfortable silence together. I had never experienced that before I met you. At least not until I moved here and never with a man, God, never a man. I just, I felt really lucky that I met you, like I'd won the lottery. <laughs> I was just on top of the world, like a pink birthday cloud. I was so impossibly happy, just so fucking happy. I wasn't even noticing that I was booking terrible movies and that you were snorting chloroquine in your car. <laughs> and maybe the reason we were comfortable because uh, I got used to being quiet. You know, I got used to being... And now I'm just fucking talking and talking to nobody, just looking at myself on my phone. And I can't, I can't just really shut the fuck up in peace when I'm not around you, you know? I mean, you know me, you know me. Always talking anxiously, 
talking. I mean, it's why directors fucking hate me because I, I want to talk about the scene. I want to I want to take it apart and I want to talk about every little fucking detail. And, and they... <sighs> People. People are actually just being very nice about what's going on. Um, Crystal, uh, your therapist, who I talked to on the phone, um, she told me not to mention the uh, press coverage because it would interfere with your own um, healing. But I just thought that you should know that there's been a bevy of support around you. All of your friends, all of your fans. God, you have so many fans, Henry, it's crazy. And they're all messaging me. You know, wanting me to know that you and I are loved and supported and thought of and prayed for and that it's a marathon, not a sprint. And uh, I just I just feel so fucking sorry that they'll never know the whole truth. I mean, there are bits of it floating around, like that fucking Demois account. God, they're the worst. Someone claiming they knew us uh, leaked the news about the separation. It was a blind item, but it was obviously us. I mean, probably whoever said it saw me in the driveway with my garment bags and my one mattress and, you know. Because it is my fault. I unfollowed you on Instagram the night that I dropped you off. And, um, you know, I went and I got drunk and I couldn't stand to fucking look at your fucking face at that exact moment. And so uh, a concerned citizen pointed it out to Demois. Why would she unfollow her husband? Why would she post what she posted? What did he do? What did he do? <laughs> but then Gabriel put out a statement and everyone felt sorry for us and moved on to the next thing, so. <laughs> oh and so uh yeah fuck i'm sitting here <sighs> i'm supposed to uh be on this fucking zoom with fucking lois smith and uh dan levy or something and um i honestly i think i looked really nice um, but what people won't know is that I'm sitting on the floor with my fucking wine glass just out of shot and, uh, just me by myself in this house, you know? I mean, everyone is right here with me, but, um, I'm still feeling alone in all of this. And um, I miss you. And um, I, I hope you get to write to me and um, I'll write back. I love you. Okay. Talk soon. <laughs> Essential. Why not? So, yeah.